Welcome to Grayon Math. We are asked to solve this problem. We have this uh, quarter circle divided into three uh, equal portions. And uh, by this uh, line, uh, I mean segment GE or segment X. And the uh, total uh, radius of this quarter circle, the biggest quarter circle is 9 units. And we are required to find the length of the segment X. Okay, so uh, first is we notice that uh, this segment X divides this uh, two, the upper part or the two times A into two parts. Uh, then if that is the case, then this arc DE should be congruent with this uh, arc EF. And if you continue a line from segment GE, uh, then this segment GE should uh, inevitably pass to the center of the quarter circle. Okay, so first is we write an equation about the quarter circle, the whole quarter circle. So it is uh, equal to 3a is equal to pi over 4 since this is a quarter circle. Then you have to square the radius. So that is 9 squared. So 3a is equal to uh, pi over 4 times 81. Okay. And we can divide both sides by 3. So this becomes a and this becomes a 27. So a is equal to 27 over 4 pi square units. Okay. So uh, GE being the segment X, so uh, this also means that uh, the segment CF is also X, and uh, this segment FB is 9 minus X. Okay, so next is we write an equation of this uh, uh, quarter circle uh, DFB. So the radius being 9 minus X. And the area being A. So A is equal to a pi over 4 times 9 minus x squared. So uh, area is equal to pi over 4 times 9 minus, I mean, this should be squared, so 81. 81 minus 18x plus x squared. Okay, so next is we equate the two equations. So a being equal to a. And we have found two uh, expressions or values for a. So uh, the one is uh, pi over 4 times uh, 81 minus 18x plus x squared is equal to 27 over 4 times pi. So we can cancel this pi and this pi and this 4 and this 4. So we have uh, x squared minus 18x plus 81 is equal to 27. So we can subtract 27 on both sides. So negative 27 and negative 27. And we are left with the x squared minus 18x plus 54 is equal to 0. And we are going to solve this resulting quadratic equation. Okay, so solving this resulting quadratic equation, we can solve this by completing the square. So we have to the right x squared, then minus 18x, then we get half of 18 and square it, so we have uh, 9 to half of it is 9, so we need to square that, so this becomes 81, so plus 81, and we need to put this 54 to the right hand side, so it becomes negative 54, and add 81 to make it balanced. So, since this is not a perfect square, on the left hand side we can write it as uh, uh, 
uh, x minus 9 squared. It is equal to 27. Okay, and if we take the square root of both sides, so we have x minus 9 is equal to, uh, if you take the square root of this, this becomes 3 square root of 3. And but plus or minus. And uh, we need to put this negative 9 to the right hand side. So we have x is equal to 9 plus or minus the square root of, I mean 3 is the square root, uh, 3 square root of 3 units. And this is our partial answer. Uh, next is we will check which will be the final answer. Okay, so for the first instance, so we take 9 plus 3 square root of 3 and 9 minus x will be equal to 9 minus uh, 9 plus 3 square root of 3. And we have here 9 minus 9 minus 3 square root of 3. So this, this cancels out and this gives us 9 minus x to have the value of negative 3 square root of 3. And now for the second instance, uh, x is equal to 9 minus 3 square root of 3. And if we get a value of 9 minus x, it is equal to 9 minus uh, 9 minus 3 square root of 3. And we simplify, we have 9 minus 9 plus 3 square root of 3. And with this value, the value of 9 minus x will be uh, 3 square root of 3. Okay, so from the, judging from the value, so the value of x being 9 plus square root of 3, this one, gives us a value of 9 minus x, a negative 3 square root of 3 for 9 minus x. So this answer is invalid because the ne its partner, or ne I mean its... Uh, corresponding pair is becomes a negative the 9 minus x and since 9 minus x is also a distance and could not be negative then this is actually invalid invalid and while on the other case the 9 minus square root of 3 uh, for the value of x gives us a value of uh, positive value for 9 minus x which is a uh, 3 square root of 3 so this value is the correct answer so the value should be x is equal to 9 minus 3 square root of 3 units. And that is our answer. So thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please like the video if you like our solution. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. So you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.